General Grievous, you are a lot smaller than I expected. And you're very, very cute. Please don't hurt me with the lightsabers. Hello and welcome to a Smurf P video and today we are looking at the impressive General Grievous from the Star Wars Black Series. Now this is a figure that I have been very excited for and I'm sure there's lots of fans out there that are excited for. So enough going on top, something on the side, Grievous, nice picture there, very cool. And a little bio there and everybody knows about General Grievous. Okay, so here is General Grievous out of his pack. Now one thing that annoyed me about the prequels and the characters was that there was no real backstory to Grievous in the show. Now there may be backstories in comics and other toys and books, I guess. But in terms of the character in the film, no backstory. It just rocked up and, you know, he was considered this bad guy. And he had a whole coffin fit going on. Now... Why on earth they couldn't have had him in the background in the first one? Even just a few little scenes and just build him up. That would have been so much better from, I guess, a fan perspective. But the whole prequel thing was around that. We had Darth Maul. We had Dooku. Then we had General Grievous step in as Dooku's killed. And it was like he never could decide who his apprentice was or whoever was working for him as an agent so to speak so he's constantly changing but i guess that's the stiff way you're always rolling on for the next pan your, your next apprentice um but yeah it did irritate me he could have been in the background a little bit so in terms of the figure he is absolutely stunning i am loving that head sculpt it's just phenomenal and just down to a t and throughout we've got this whole lovely detail of robotics Every single detail, battle scars, all the way through. It's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful figure. Even down to the iconic feet. Absolutely. He also stunning. comes with this beautiful cape. Oh, which is really nice. How brown the outside. My goodness, watch from you ever. And then he's cut bread on them. Right, so right. he has the red thing and he has these little pockets which. I'm presuming the lightsabers fit in, which is very cool. And the cloak just slots over. I thought this was a little bit of Velcro, but it's not. So very, very nice design. I do love that. In terms of the accessories, so he has four lightsabers. They stole them from Jedi he has killed. And I'm pretty sure they're all got a little different light, different handles on it. And then this one has a different handle. And no, you cannot take the ends off, which is disappointing. So that kind of beats the purpose off the whole little sleeve. Okay, so here he is without his cloak. So he was pretty much all mechanic towards the end, just with a beating and heart, eyes. I guess the face was the only thing left from his body, but the figure itself is absolutely stunning. It's a re really, is a beautiful piece of art. Even down to that. That's this is where you stick the little cloak in. Bring his head forward like that or back. It's quite nice. The figure itself is a re really, re really flexible figure. They made it possible for you to do all kinds of things with this figure, which is really nice. Now my favorite gimmick is the arms. So if you can do this on camera. It just Apart. So it's got a little clip there and a little clip there and two little holes. So you can have the whole bit where his arms separate in the battle with Kenobi, which is pretty much what every fan is going to be doing, I guess. And then you can do really cool things like this, which look damn impressive. So they've already gone all out with this General Grievous, which is a good thing. It means that they actually care about the products that they're giving us these days. That they want us to have the best general grievous out there that we could possibly have 
Only problem is you have him alongside this guy. The worst Obi-Wan Kenobi figure you can imagine. Just look at that face. It doesn't look, oh, doesn't look too bad from that angle, actually. So if you get it placed like this, it looks pretty cool. Very cool. So there are things you could do. We really do need a better Obi-Wan Kenobi figure, though. But can they improve on the figure we've got? Maybe give him a cloak. We've got Mace coming out. He's got a cloak. That's pretty cool. Now, this battle in Episode 3 was pretty cool. I did enjoy this. He even comes with the famous blaster that Obi-Wan Kenobi uses to take... Well, take his life. So, which is very, very cool. And a nice accessory to give us. The only problem is... He can't actually hold it properly because of the way his hands are. Um, so that's a bit disappointing. But hey-ho, it's not like he's going to be holding it. I would have liked a place to slot this, but I cannot seem to find one. Okay, you can put in the cloak. It looks a bit strange, but you can put in the cloak. So, just to wrap it up, I think this is a very, very nice figure. And definitely one, as a Star Wars fan, you should be adding to your collection. So, comment and let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Follow my Facebook page, Smurd P. And as always, embrace the geekness. Goodbye. <laughs>